Hi guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. In this video, we're going to do an oil change on an Audi A4 B6. This one is the 1.8 engine turbocharged four cylinder engine. And we will need four points, three quarts of oil, one oil filter for the purpose of it, 19 millimeter socket with a ratchet. You need to jack the left, the left side, the driver's side of the vehicle up because the oil pan, the plug on the oil pan is on the right side. So that way we will be able to get as much oil as we can out of the vehicle. And underneath the vehicle, right there on the passenger side, so it's, that's where the oil plug is with 19 millimeter socket and a ratchet or just a wrench will do the thing to you. You need to take it off and drain the oil all the way. It might take you about five minutes to drain everything, but drain it good. And you see why we jack the left side of the vehicle up because it's tilted now that way. Well, don't drop the oil plug in the bucket. And we can get most of it out that way. Always use jack stands, not just the jack. Because the jack, if it malfunctions, you're in big trouble if it, if it goes bad. Always, always use the jack stand. Safety first, guys. Okay, we drained the oil and now you need to install the oil pack and get it tight now. Do not leave it for later because if you leave it for later and you forget from the vibrations and just driving down the road, you lose the oil pack, run out of oil and you pretty much need a new engine. So don't leave it for later. Get it tight now with a ratchet or a wrench, whatever you're using. It all works, 19 millimeter. Right there. Okay guys, now the oil filter is located right here. That orange thing, that's the oil filter. You can access it from the top or the bottom, both ways. But when you are on the bottom, some oil will leak out of it. And it could be hot oil if you drove the car before the oil change. So be careful not to burn yourself. Hot engine oil can really burn you. Especially if it gets in your eyes. So just be careful and take it off, all the way off. Okay guys, we took it off and always make sure that your gasket is actually on the filter, on the old one. And now the new one, because sometimes they will be on the old filter housing and if you install another filter it won't get really tight, it won't seal good and you'll lose oil pressure. So now on the new filter right here, what you need to do, you need to open the jack and apply a little bit of clean oil on that ring right here, that oil seal. That way next time it will be easy to remove the oil filter because if you do not do that it will get really dry and hot there and it will get stuck to the housing so it will be really hard to remove it next time. Okay since the filter you can see it's pretty big size what we need to do we need to fill it up a little bit with oil not all the way not to spill it okay but you need to fill some of it up so when you start the car it won't have that dry start. Okay, and you just add some, it's almost full, okay, and that should be plenty of it to prevent dry start. And now we're ready to install the filter on the old filter housing. Okay, we just install the filter and get it tight with your hand. You don't need to use any special tools, but get it pretty tight with your hands. You can use a towel or a rack or something so it doesn't slip on you. And do not leave it for later, get it tight now. So. We're done with that part. Okay, now we need to remove the jack stand and let the car down. We need to level it so we can add the oil and read the oil level accurate. Okay, like that. Okay, now we need to remove the oil cap and we need to add... Okay, we added some to the filter. So all together you have to have 4.3 quarts. So just Make sure that you do not add more than 4.3, do not overfill the system because if you put too much you're going to damage the catalytic converter. Okay, and we just add the oil now. Okay, we're done adding oil, now we need to install the oil cap on. Again, do not leave it for later. A few things that you should always check. The oil plug on the bottom, the oil filter and the cap on top. And now we need to go ahead and start the vehicle for about a minute or two so it gets oil in the oil filter and everywhere and we can check the oil level. Okay, we just start the vehicle again, just like that. Okay, now we need to put the dipstick, wipe it. And after we wipe it, we need to pull it again and pull it out to get the accurate reading of the oil level. 
You do that about two minutes after you start the car. And as you can see, it's almost all the way to the full mark. So that's perfect. You don't exceed the full mark because you're going to damage the catalytic converter on your car. Okay guys, that's how you change the oil on that Audi. If you have any questions, let us know. Don't forget to give us a like if the video was helpful and subscribe for about one new video every day to our channel. Thank you.